hello everybody and welcome back to Project Ozone Light. How's it going? I am well. It's been a couple days. Uh, Monday was Labor Day. I decided to hang out with the family. And then yesterday we had some pretty serious storms blowing through. Power went out a few times. It just wasn't suitable conditions to sit and actually record a video it got pretty loud outside so we are here this morning i'm going to get this done i'm off today i'm gonna to get this video posted early um and get back into things so i have done a little bit of work as you can see in my hand for one i have made another uh wyvern sword um i've done that what else have i done since i've been here we're going to get started on rf tool stuff today uh, I have done some. We've got the Dimlet workbench. I've been breaking down some of the Dimlets that we got. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, if we go to the mining dimension, which is where we've always got to go, I have doubled up on our neutronium collectors. Um, I have sat and figured out and done the math, and According to my math, we need 3,600 of these ingots. We've got 333. Um, so this is probably going to even more double in size. The problem with this is, is this is something that just happens over time. And we're not playing on a server, so it is always, you know, it's not always running. It's only running while I am on playing, so, or if I just go AFK, which I've been doing quite a bit of, but we still need a lot more. Um, what else have I done? Oh, our um, our little factory over here uh, that we used to make the lithium. I've changed this up just a little bit. First off, we've added a reservoir to it for the water, since we can't use the world under extra world interaction upgrades and stuff I went with this we are now pumping water in here and making brine now we are making brine and turning the brine into or the gaseous brine into a liquid brine or no maybe it's the other way around I'm not sure anyway oh no we're making it to a gaseous brine and we're using this chemical crystallizer to make salt that way I don't have to sit and create salt if we need to make any more of the pizzas that was such a pain in the butt so now we are always making salt this is connected to our AE system that's not what I wanted and if we look up salt you can see we've got some salt now so that is awesome loving that um, also I have added the water tank over here got all this hooked back up and running again and we are now up to 4,700 of the pellets. We're not ever going to need that much of it. But I've got everything set up now to where this is actually almost full. And that is, let's see here. Can I put this on a in out and get it to work? Hopefully they'll keep, basically I was getting backed up on this machine with the ethylene and it was shutting everything off. So now I've added a tank to it and it, the excess was going in here, but it looks like all the excess was going in there. Hopefully that will allow all that to go anyways. And then on this I've got a tank on here with for the oxygen that it's creating and just more or less deleting it we don't need the oxygen for anything else so there we go that's still not getting anything out of it hmm oh what did I do that for okay that should work now all right Anyways, I think that is all I have done since then. Now, well, there is one other thing we've done. I have went and done some research, figured out we were using the wrong bait. We needed fruit bait for rabbit. 
So we have rabbit now. I've got some over here in this. I've already put it in. There we go. And now we can go make... Woo! Nope, not that one. We can now make our cosmic meatballs. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So now we can make as many of those as we want. We've got all the, 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 the we've got all the rabbit we need. Just give us anything. Well, we can't eat these. So now we can take this and figure out where it goes. Right next to that, and boom, we are one step closer to the edge. So we've only got. Outside of our catalyst, we've got flux electrum and red matter to to make. That we're going to get into probably next episode, and we may work on getting all this set up. We get those made, we can start getting into some serious crafting. Anyways, now. RF tools. We want to build us a dimension. We are going to be making us a emerald dimension because I'm going to use the emerald for EMC. We're going to set up a quarry and all that. So how all this works. First thing, let's get us some dimlets. Our uh, Enderman farm has been working out great. We have all kinds of dimlets now. But anyways, you right click on these and they will give you different parts. And you just come up to this workbench and put everything in there. Now I don't know, can you, no you can't put those in there. Alright, so wait, let's get some stuff out of our inventory here. We don't need none of this. So but now that we've got all those, this all does take power. Uh, I've got power running underneath here. Uh, I have switched to these ultimate cables for the moment. Um, they transfer a little bit more power than the Ender I.O. ones do. I'm working on getting, I've added a gelid cryothium cow to our setup in the uh, mining dimension with the cows. I want to get a, I'd like to get to the cryo stabilized flux ducts, especially for all this stuff over here. That way we can transfer, uh, power a lot quicker um so but anyways as far as what kind of biome you want to make if we type in emerald it'll give us different stuff and it will tell you what you need over here in order to make it now for a block of emerald we need all that we need a base part we need a circuit control circuit of a rarity five advanced energy module advanced memory unit and a material type controller now we also need to make a absorber and we've got several different ones here we've got one for material which this is the one we're going to make we got one for liquid one for the biome one for terrain and one for feature and one for time so you can pretty much craft these to your whim and liking we're not going to mess with all that I could care less about um, any of that what we're going to do is make a flat world and we can do that without making the absorber so we should have hopefully whoops, have everything that we need in order to make this and we did. So we need some emerald blocks. That's not necessarily a problem. Come on, catch up here. And I'm not exactly sure how much this is going to take to do. So we can place a block down, put the absorber on top of it and now it's sucked up the block and then we can just sit here and spam blocks until it sucks up if you look it has a percentage on it we've got to get that all the way up to a hundred percent if 
thank God this thing sucks it up pretty quick and you can just sit here and spam it and spam it and spam it. We're, so we need two stacks in order to make this. For what we're going to get out of it, that's not necessarily too bad. What I hope to get out of it will not necessarily be too bad. Alright, we are at 100%. Alright, so now if we take this over here, put this in here, we now have our block of emerald dimly. This is going to be expensive. We should have enough power to, uh, let's put this up here in our EMC. Um, should have enough power in order to run this. Um, if not, we're going to be building a bigger reactor. Alright, so now, as far as what we need to make, let's go to our RF tool stuff here. We need to make a matter transmitter. We're going to need a few of these. Let us make, don't really need a receiver because we've already made one, but we'll go ahead and make one. We need a dialing device. We are going to need one of these that I can't do yet. We're going to have to probably wind up making a normal dimension to go into um, just so I can get some dimensional shards. Uh, what else do we need here? We need a dimension inscriber. We need a dimension builder. And I don't think we need that. Alright, so that should be all that we need. I'm going to put all this stuff down here. So I need some more cable. Uh, that should be what we have. That was not what I wanted to do. Well, actually, I can do that. That'll work. Uh, so let's put down our inscriber. That one actually doesn't need power. Uh, we need our builder. This one needs a ton of power. We need our dialing device. And then we need those. So, now, in order to make this thing, we are going to need a couple more things here. We need to make a empty dimension tab. Place that in here. And we need to make our flat dimlet. Which is this one right here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, flat dimlet, where'd you go? Let's make that. Now, I am not the world's best at making these things. Um, it might take me a few times in order to do it. Alright, so... Give me just a second. Let me get what I need, and I will be right back. We are back. I know what our problem was. Our problem is, is in order to make our terrain dimlet flat, we've got to have these dimlet templates. And in order to make these dimlet templates, we need dimensional shards. 
and we have not found any so we need to create just a standard world nothing major let's put it in here and power it up one thing I want to make also is this phased field generator which we can't make either because we don't have any dimensional shards so we are going to have to go out on a whim and a prayer here this thing is charged we want to dial this world up and we want to say a prayer hopefully we can find some dimensional shards in this sorry about that <sighs> get this in our hand that way we can be ready to go if it's a bad world oh well what in the world I have no idea what I just come into Okay. There is a lot of stuff trying to load up in here. Now this is pretty neat. I wonder if there's any chest around. We can find anything. We've got move fluids that spawn here. We got mobs that spawn here. I seen you. But I'm not seeing any kind of chest with anything. So my next goal I guess is to do some digging. And see if we can find some dimensional shards. Oh no, I see a chest. I see a chest and spawners. Holy Lord. Man. Alright, I'm going to... We got spawners everywhere. We're going to hold on to this dimension. If we need any spawners, I know where to come get some. So, but I want to... Dig down. Oh, shoot. I am specifically looking for dimensional shards right now. Right now, I want this thing. We can find one dimensional shard. I can set up our... Or a, a digital miner, and we'll be set. But I am not seeing any yet. Well, let me do some searching, and I will be back.
Oh, I ain't got to be back. There we go. That's what we are looking for right there. So I need our... Where's my silk touch at? Silk touch. There we go. Now, we can go up top. If I can find my way out of here, it's not going to be an easy way to find out. Oh, there it is. And we can place I don't have any power. Shoot. Alright. This is what we do. Um we want to create a new waypoint. Actually, you know what? We don't have to do that. Let's just take that with us. Let's head home right quick. I gotta keep picking stuff up. Anything that I get that I don't need, I've been just shoving in here. Alright. Oh, dang it. Mm -hmm. I need that. What was that? Put my dank knoll in there. Alright, let me get some uh, power here right quick, and I will be right back. Alright, we are back here in our dimension. Place that down. We will give it some power. We want to configure this. We want a new filter. And let's start mining. Oh. Actually, stop. I want to... We're going to take everything off of here. We don't need none of this stuff anymore. Uh, no. We'll leave that, we'll leave that. And that's not a whole lot. It should be enough to get us what we need, though, at least for now. But I can come back in here at any time and get what else we need. Wish there was a way to put fortune on this. I guess I actually I should have put silk touch on it and been done with it, but that's all right. All right, back on. All right, now we should put this stuff all back up in here. That can go in here. And let us try our dimension building again. So I have made a... We need a block of emerald. That dim don't work. We want a structure none. We want a feature none. Effect none. And just default weather. And we want... Oh yeah, we need to make our terrain flat. Oh, I didn't get those out of the miner. There we 
we go. And boom. Terrain flat. Now we should be able to put that in there, that in there. And throw all that stuff in there. And it should be alright. We need another one of these. Put that in there and store it. And this is going to take half of our power. So now this world is no more. Well, it's still got power. But this is going to take a minute to power up. So let me let this thing power up and then I will bring you guys back. All right, we're back. We have full power. Maintenance cost is 100,000. Let's see what it's doing. We are gaining power. This is where all of our power for that is coming from. So we should be all right to go in here. But before we do, I want to make this face field generator. Basically what it does is it gives us at least enough time to get out of here if something happens. So we can hold this let it charge up come on actually while that's doing that let's go over to our dialing device we want to dial to this one and there we go. This thing is still powering. And if everything is right, we should be good here. Come on. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Is that not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? That's a weird sky. But we have. EMC for days. Oh, that makes me happy. And we got cows. What kind of cow we got here? Purple slime? Nope, man. So anyways, that was what I wanted to do for today. We have got our dimension built. I'm going to set a quarry up in here. Uh, probably in the next couple episodes. Uh not necessarily ready to use it yet but i wanted to get to that point all right sorry about that anyways we got what we needed we've got emeralds for days emc for days and that's what we were planning on doing today so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye